Waiguchi de Akasa, Waiguchi Kufete. Next to me, I have the man himself, Nuff the Poet. You've for sure seen him on your Explore page or For You page. And Nuff, if you just want to introduce yourself a little bit. Sure, yeah. My name is Nuff Breed Singh, Nuff the Poet. I'm a spoken word artist, video editor, content creator, and all around creative. Amazing. So we have a lot to ask you, but I want to start off with uh, talking about your poetry that's in your name. Uh, poetry has a rich tradition of serving as a form of activism and resistance, especially within Sikhi, we see with uh, Bani's and speeches, uh, things like Baparabani, from the very origin of Sikhi. So how do you see your role as a poet intersecting with broader social justice movements? And what responsibilities do you feel you have as an artist uh, in addressing these issues of injustice and social responsibility? Yeah, it's a great question. So, I mean, Pretty simply, art is resistance. Um, I think art has the power to really elevate movements and, and channel these feelings and these frustrations that a lot of us have. And that's definitely been a source for me to express myself, whether it's personally or even socially. A lot of the topics I cover within my poetry are about social justice, are about these issues that we see in the world. And so I think the value of art is because we are pulling from our emotion and the, the things that drive us, it's able to connect with people and speak to them in a way that sometimes facts and figures don't always do. So I think it plays the role of really giving people that like morale boost and that energy to keep going and pushing forward to create progress, to make change. Right, often that connection is much more valuable than any statistic or fact could ever be. Um, and I think you specifically are really great at that, even in just such a short form con uh, content kind of medium, really creating that connection right away that opens up to all this information and all this kind of knowledge that you're able to, to put out there. So kudos to you for that. Um, you. I also wanted to ask you, I'm sure you and every other sick creator here today has been asked about how sick he, sick ethos, sick background has inspired and it has inspired your work and how you've integrated it, it into your work, which is uh, a very important part of your work, which you've been very open about. But I kind of want to flip the question a bit and ask you, um, how do you feel what you put out there in your work uh, and even any future work you may have planned is contributing to the general sick conscience and the sick diaspora that we have here? So both uh, or all like as your personal goals, uh, your artistic goals, and goals, your kind of bunthic goals as a, as a community. How are you pushing our Sikh conscious forward? Sure, so personally speaking, Sikhi is what drives me, as you were saying. Uh, so it always, in writing content, and whether it's through a video or my poetry, I'm always checking kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a, a check and a balance on me of like, Am I living up to Sikhi, right? right? The, 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 the um, like example that the gurus has set for us, right? So for personal, from a personal perspective, it's really pushing me to make sure that I am understanding of our history and what it means to you know serve. And so then it expands to uh, my art as well. And then when it comes to the community, uh, I believe that being someone who looks the way I do with my dastar, with my case, and doing what I do, which is not common, honestly. I, I've come across so many people who have said, I've never seen like even a South Asian who's doing poetry right. and doing it as a, a career, not just a thing, which is totally cool, but I am pursuing it in a way that most people don't. Right. And so I think just the fact that I'm doing that is a huge impact because I've literally had people tell me that that has sparked their own interest to pursue. Could be poetry or whatever space or field they want to exist in, wherever their talents may lie. And so just the act of doing it, I think pushes our community forward into expanding into these new spaces that we haven't been allowed to or haven't put ourselves in before. Right, and I think what's really special about the audience that you've cultivated is that you have a very Sikhi focus and you very much do your your kind of content for the sangha at large, but it's also a very accessible kind of medium for other people kind of outside of maybe what you would think of the traditional sangha. And that's, you're building that kind of bridge and putting 
uh, integrating those spaces of poetry that, like you said, traditionally we've uh, sometimes been left out of or left ourselves out of, and then integrating all of that into one uh, unified synergy. So really appreciate you for that work you do. Building on top of what he just said, what's your poetry and what you stand for and how it kind of impacts people, I wanted to go um, more deeper to understand like, like the role that you want to create in this world, I guess. And so would you want to share any specific, specific examples of how your work has sparked meaningful change or um, addressing any issues of like injustice or what you feel like needs to be set out into the world? Yeah, so um, I've talked about it many times before, but the ability to actually help people understand Sikki is, I think, where my strength lies. And the reason I know I've been able to do that is because people message me. Mm -hmm. They leave comments and they message me, and I've had people tell me, oh, because of your videos, I decided to visit my local Gurdwara. You know, I've just, I've, I have a sick neighbor who I've never spoken to, but now because of your videos and I've taught people how to use satsrikal or different greetings and different things, they feel more comfortable talking to them about the faith and even then learning from them. I've also had people, it's really beautiful, someone will ask me a question in my comments and then someone who follows me and has seen my content will answer the question. I don't even have to go in anymore and answer the questions myself. They've been able to really learn. It's not just like they saw the video, it's like, oh, that's cool. No, they really absorb the information. And I, I've also had people tell me, hey, I'm like 50 years old, 60 years old, and I've never been exposed to people of your community until your videos. And I used to have such a bias because of media propaganda and all these things. And now because of your videos, I realize how, you know, programmed, how conditioned I was to view it in a negative light but now I don't, and now I strive to educate my kids so that this mentality doesn't continue to exist. And I think, like, there's nothing better than that. That's, mm -hmm. I didn't even think that was possible. <laughs> and then within the three, four years that I've been doing this content creation process, I've had so many messages and it's really, really heartwarming to see. And that's what um, storytelling, sorry, is all about. Please subscribe, share, and like this video to support us.